my name is Guy Kawasaki. I'm the author of 12 books, the most recent being Ape, Author, Publisher, Entrepreneur. So at AdTech, I explain how to publish a book. This is the process of being the author, the publisher, and the entrepreneur. Uh, it's meant so that people don't have to be at the whim of the publishing industry. They can control their own destiny and publish their own book by themselves. I wrote another book called What the Plus about Google Plus and in that book I explained how to use Google Plus and I self-published that book and it was such a difficult process I decided to write the next book, Ape, about how to publish a book so that other people would not have to go through the same pain that I did. Pain is, well, it would take a long time to explain all the pain. But the pain for a traditional uh, published author is finding an agent, finding a publisher who will do the book, uh, kind of giving up control of the content, the cover, the design, giving co up control of the sales and marketing, and getting paid 10 or 15 percent. Um, by contrast with self-publishing, you're in much greater control. You also have much greater responsibility, but you also make 70 percent. So it's a trade-off, but I think it's a very worthy trade-off. And with hindsight, I'd say the advantage is towards self-publishing. Amazon is just the world's greatest platform for self-publishing. You upload your book in less than 48 hours, it's for sale. You do get 70% and they have a lot of marketing programs for it. They have truly, I mean, they have critical mass. It's Amazon, right? It's not like you have to drive people to Amazon. So if you write a decent book and you get decent reviews and you publicize it and you kickstart it, Amazon is a dream come true for a self-published author. The most common mistakes that self-publishers make, whether the book is about branding or anything, is that they take some shortcuts. Uh, two very bad shortcuts. One is to not hire a professional copy editor. Uh, the probability that you're a good writer and a good copy editor is very low. So this is like, you know, you know how doctors recommend that you not self-medicate? It's the same thing. I recommend you not self-copy edit. So that's one big mistake. Second big mistake is they also think that they're a graphic designer, so they design the cover by themselves. Uh, the probability of you being a good writer and a cover designer is also very low. So the probability of you being a good cover designer, good copy editor, and good author is zero, absolutely zero. So you need to hire a professional graphic designer for your cover, you need to hire a professional copy editor. When someone picks up your book or boots your book, depending on whether it's ebook and or paper, it should not be obvious that it's self-published. It should look like it came from a very, very big New York traditional publishing house. Uh, there's, don't get sucked into this self-publishing, lower quality, it doesn't matter, it does matter. The way that a self-published author can engage with their customers and prospective customers through the process is always be soliciting feedback. Soliciting feedback on your outline, soliciting feedback on your drafts, uh, soliciting feedback on the final copy so that they will post reviews for you in their blogs and on Amazon. Um, I push crowdsourcing to the far edge, <laughs> probably beyond what most authors do. And it's because the crowd, in, at any given point in the crowd, even though you may be an author who's expert on something, there is somebody in the crowd who knows something more than you. And so I think it's your job to find that person and ask that person for help. Throughout the process of AIM, the first time I asked people to look at the outline, to poke holes in the outline. A few months later, I asked them to read the Word document looking for copy editing mistakes and content mistakes. The third time, I sent them the PDF of the final book, asking them to review it for their blog. And so prior to the book going for sale, probably 1,500 people had read the book. I put it out to my whole audience. I have about six million followers and I just blast it out. I don't, I don't really try to qualify people. I'm not trying to ensure that you know, they are experts in what they're saying. I just, I just take it for what it comes. And when I get these edited manuscripts back, 
I have a 27 inch monitor. I have my version of the manuscript that I'm working on. I have their version where they have comments and I scroll down and I look at every single comment. 